Hello friends, welcome to Let's Set OS. Today we will learn how to deploy a Go application on App Engine. So now let's see what is an App Engine and how we can use App Engine to deploy a Go application. So basically what is an App Engine? App Engine allows developers to focus on doing what they do best, writing code. The App Engine standard environment is based on container instances running on Google infrastructure. Containers are pre-configured with one of several available runtimes like Java 7, Java 8, Python, Python 2.7, Go and PHP. So App Engine is a serverless product given by Google so that you do not need to worry about how to scale your application or how to manage resources. Like suppose if you want to deploy an application on a computer or a system then you have to decide like how much RAM you want to consume or how much storage you want to configure for the application but App Engine manages all those things without bothering you so developers can focus only on the code part scalability maintenance and all those things it will solve all the issues for you so here what we will do we will just download an application and we will see whether that application is working fine or not and then we will deploy that application on App Engine. So now let's move toward our browser in which we will type console.cloud.google.com As you can see I have already opened the system and if you are not familiar how this is working then you can just browse our old videos in which we have given you all the details how to create your Google account or how to deploy applications like Java, PHP, Python, Flask and Node.js applications on Google Cloud. But today we will learn how to deploy a Go application on App Engine. So by going through this console.cloud.google.com it will ask you for a username and password. If you have not created your cloud account, you can create your cloud account and you will get a $300 credit that will be sufficient for all the demos and for all the learning that you want to do from Google Cloud. So without wasting any time, let's deep dive into the concepts. So as soon as you log in, you will get this page, a dashboard page in which you will get all the details of resources, compute engines. So after that, you have to click on this activate cloud shell, click on this button. It will take some time to open. After that, you can click on this button, open a new window. Then you can click on this pencil. Then you have to allow cookies. It's a online editor, which you can use to edit your code. So first thing first, first thing we should know about downloading a sample Go code. I will give you all the details like where the code is. First, you have to clone the repository. So first thing it is asking to set the project. So for that, you will just go copy this thing and paste it below and gcloud config set project, then give the project that you have created. If you have any issues on creating how to create a project, just comment below. I will give you the link where we have set all the details or how to open a Google Cloud project. After that, it will ask for authorize. Just click on authorize button. So once the project is set, the next thing will be to download the sample code. So I will just provide you the link. The link is Google Cloud Platform, github.com, Google Cloud Platform and Golang hyphen samples. So here, if you go to Google Cloud Platform, this is a one stop for all the details. It contains many repositories. It contains almost everything that is available in Google Cloud. So just bookmark this repository, github.com slash Google Cloud Platform. And here you can search everything that you want to search. So I want to search a repository with Go. I will just go here and click on Go and it will navigate us to Golog samples and it will navigate us to Golag samples. So what we will do, we will just clone this whole repository of Golag samples. As Git is already installed in the Google environment, there is no need to separately download the Git. It will just copy all those things or all these samples in your cloud shell. As you can see, we have already downloaded the Golang samples. So the next thing is we will download the Hello World example from the App Engine module. For that, we have to go to CD Golang samples. Then we have to navigate to App Engine. Then whichever sample you want to choose, Go 11x. Then we will just go to Hello World example. 
so hello world example is like a very basic program in which you will learn what is a go language and it will deploy these things to your app in there so we will just go to cd hello world so first thing first like whether i have deployed java applications or whether i have deployed any other application first thing to do is to run a hello world example then you can complicate your example to a more level or you can go with other examples like cloud sql or pubsub or bigquery or any other example or how to integrate go with bigquery so these things can come later but first thing first we should always target the hello world examples because they are the basic ones so let's see what all these things are contained here so as we have navigated to the hello world example let's see one by one what the app.yaml contains so app.yaml is the configuration file for the google cloud app engine without it nothing will run and it contains a very simple line run time go 114 it's actually just giving the run time and you can put lot of things in the app.yaml file but for this sample or for this video there is no need to go into more details as it is a simple application then we will go with go.mod file it will contain it will just say module is hello world and go version is 1.11 there is a test file and then there is a hello world.go sample file so all those things are provided by the google cloud sample only in which first thing we have done is like import fmt log net http and os and then we have created one function that is main function and that is handling a index handler and then we have given the port number is 8080 and we have provided some logging only so what this function will do it will just send a request and response and it will print hello world so this is a very basic go program in which we are just sending response sending request and printing a statement so now let's see whether we are able to deploy this application on app engine so once you are inside this hello world example then the next step will be just to install the components for that i will just provide you all these commands in the description below so there is no need to worry or just mug up these uh, commands all these links will be provided in the uh, description below so just go and just in the command line we have to type this g cloud components install app hyphen engine hyphen go okay so this time it is giving error it is saying that for that we can use this one so we will just run this command again so what it will do it will deploy the go line dependencies and the next command that will finally deploy your go applications on app engine will be just simple g cloud app deploy and we will just click on it it will ask whether you want to continue or not then we will click y then you can click on y button it will upload your files to google cloud storage google cloud storage is the cdn provided by google it will take some time to deploy your application on app engine and it will be easily available and you can run your code on internet also so that everybody can access this site whatever you have created the one thing is that app engine is very powerful google cloud takes all the headaches of developers its back end is kubernetes where all the auto scaling and all the storage and all the pods up down are being taken care by a app engine itself there is no need of devops there is no need of managing all these resources it's just plain a development task as you can see it's normally take 5 minutes only as you can see it's already deployed and we can just click on this g cloud app browse g cloud app browse and it will say like where your application is deployed it will give you the link and as you can see and let's check whether we are able to access our site or not oh as you can see we have already deployed our application in 5 minutes a go application is being deployed without any worry like how it is deployed or how to scale that application or how to manage the storage capacities and all those things you can see like where your application is deployed or how what is the billing charge by going on app engine directly here just click on here go to app engine dashboard it will give you all the details how many requests are there or what is the service name 
if you if you click on service name then it will give you default and this is the place where we have deployed our application it will give you version versioning number as you can see runtime is go 114 as we have uh, seen in app.yaml file you can check the instances you can check the firewall rules it will give you a summary for 1 hour 6 hours how many requests are there or not as you can see it's super easy to deploy anything on app engine so uh, best of luck guys on how to deploy your go application on app engine if you have any issues or if you have any queries then you can comment below and we are ready to solve your applications so please like my video and subscribe our channel thank you bye